name is Dr. Fruitman. I'm a board certified psychiatrist and I'm medical director of Trifecta Health. Um, we specialize in treatment of adult attention deficit disorder. Wanted to discuss today um, an interesting article that I saw in American Journal of Psychiatry, um, October 2015 edition. Um, what's important about that article is it really matched what we're seeing in our practice. But we are treating adults with attention deficit disorder. And the vast majority of them did not have diagnosable attention deficit disorder as children. In this particular study, 1,000 patients in a small New Zealand town were followed for a long period of time, since 1972. Turns out that, as expected, 6% of children had attention deficit disorder, primarily in boys. 3% of adults had attention deficit disorder, um, with boys equals to girls or men equal to women in that particular sample, which is what we see in the practice. What was interesting was 90% not overlap between child and adult population, meaning the children who were diagnosed with attention deficit disorder did not necessarily have it as adults, and the opposite, adults who were diagnosed did not have necessarily enough symptoms to warrant a diagnosis as children. This is something that I think is very clinically important because in the same study it showed that only 13% of adults with attention deficit disorder received the help they needed when they came to see a psychiatrist because doctors using DSM-5 or DSM-3 or DSM-4 to diagnose uh, patients would frequently miss the diagnosis of adult attention deficit disorder because of the requirements of childhood onset. So this is Dr. Fruitman. Uh, come and see us at Trifecta Health uh, in our offices in Manhattan and Long Island. We would help you make a determination if you do suffer from adult attention deficit disorder or not.